Hello everyone, my name is Filipa. Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be playing Golgari Planeswalkers Proliferate Ramp. And this is a really fun one. I love playing Planeswalkers and I love putting counters on them. So this Proliferate synergy is perfect. We are playing two cutdowns. One Thirsting Root, the Thirsting Roots is to get either a land if you're missing some sort of forest or swamp, or also you can proliferate. Uh, we have four Drowning Acres, Removal and Proliferate, four Scrap Gorgers, because we do need to ramp to cast all these expensive Planeswalkers, two Canker Blooms, it's amazing, you can sacrifice it to destroy an artifact or enchantment, which is amazing in this meta, but also to proliferate, maybe get your Nisa uh, to eight so you can minus and still keep her alive. We are playing three Lilianas of the Veil, uh, two Contagions of Orac. This is another great card. Uh, you can look at the top four cards of the library and you can reveal a land card if you don't to proliferate. So it's mana fixing and at the same time, if you don't need the mana, you can just proliferate. We have three Stompers to ramp us up, two Shield Roots, two Sorins, two Ashioks, three Vraskas, two Nisas. I know, it's a lot of Planeswalkers and three Storms of Festival. Storms of Festival here is amazing because often you can find two Planeswalkers or a Shieldred and an Ashiok, a Shieldred and a Sorin, Sorin Lily, all these cool cards you can get with the Storm of the Festival. So a lot of times you get a lot of value for this card and ob obviously you can play it back from flashback as well. So another great card that you can discard with Lily, play it later on and so on, so on. And for the mana base, we are playing two Triumphs, we can either cycle them or also just play it tapped and then it's going to fix your mana. Four Kutage, which is another way to attack and create food tokens. Lenaro Waste, Dead Cap Glade, Forests, Swamps, Takanuma and Busejo. That's it for the deck, pretty straightforward, just try to play your Planeswalkers as early as possible, start to proliferate, Vraska also proliferates, which is the zero ability, so you get the Vraska, you start proliferating all your Planeswalkers and it's going to be best friends Golgari. Let's play some games. Well, 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 I do have Scrap Gorger and I do have these, so I can go and search for a swamp. Oh no, it's just forest. Oh, I don't have swamps in this deck, damn it. That's not great, but it's fine. I'm going to change and put um, a swamp in the deck, so then the final version that you see will have a swamp. So they decide to put all the eggs in the same basket, which fair enough. Maybe I should have went for the naturalist instead. Okay, that's fine. I have these though, that is destroy target enchantment. It does cost one. So I think I just prefer to do Vraska. Minus this. If I get a land, I can storm the festival. Another one bites the dust. Galaxy is very, very annoying. But okay. Do they attack? No, oh, no, another one. <clears throat> well.
I can Nisa, but then what? Okay, my Nisa at least goes to 5, so they cannot kill it unless they play an art uh, enchantment, which is likely, but still. Let's see if I do get a land. We do, but it's tapped. I can still do Nisa. Mm. I have to pay some life for it, but I guess that's fine. It's part of life. That's fine. Okay. That's okay, my Nisa still survives. Barely, but still, nonetheless. And we get to exile this. Soren and uh, this one. So let's proliferate. Let's plus. Let's create a life linker. Play a land and pass. That's okay. Okay. Maybe I have to start double blocking. I even gained some life. Okay, let's see what Soren gives me. Sure, it's for free, so why not? Uh, I still have the Restless Cottage to block as well. That's okay. Got there. Got there. This is keepable. Cut down is really good. Then the Stomper can ramp us, so we can do an early Storm the Festival. If I can get a Scrap Gorger, that would be amazing. Even a Lily would be good. Ooh, I like this Luca. Fellow Golgari Enjoyer. Got a respect. Lisa, Lisa. I think I want to ramp. That's fine. Scrap Gorger. 
They're on in lock. And next I have Raska, which can just minus Shieldred or whatever they play. That's okay. Not a Glissa though. To minus there. Ooh, virtue is rough, y'all. I can Nisa, but not for what I want, so I think I prefer to do this first and draw a card. Probably I could also transform that. Mm, I don't know if it's worth it though. Because what do they get? I could have made this a treasure, but they just get Glissa. There's not much on the grave yet. Oops. Why oops? They probably have more. Okay, Shieldred. I'll make Shieldred a treasure. That's okay. Getting two lands is not exactly what a person wants to be doing. Yeah, they, they get the children back that way. Sure. So I know that it has first strike dead touch, but I don't want it to remove the counters from my Vraska. With all this value, I can just do Nisa. So I want to proliferate, that's for sure. So now my Nisa could minus. How much would that be for? Four plus five. Not enough yet, so I want that cup clave. I'll destroy the virtue. Hopefully they have no more. Okay, fair enough. Okay, they're using it, that's good. As long as my Nisa stays alive. Okay, so let's see where they attack. So they take the counters from Nisa. Not easy. So I can minus Shieldred. And then minus Glisa. And play these. And pass. That's okay. Give my Ashiok. Not much I can do about that. But I can start attacking with my Restless Scottish.
Okay, so I need to actually be careful with what I exile. They just have so many glisses anyway. Take damage, take damage, take damage. And I can gain life. I think it's about time that that dies. Just gets too much value. Okay, so no more creatures. I can even go to my creatures, maybe that's smarter. That's okay, I know it has that touch, but I still have more cottages. Now play this. Trespasser is a bit annoying, but my cottages are still better. Okay, I land. Ah! Four, five. Okay. I guess that is enough. Nisa, too strong. I can keep this. It's slow. If they are playing mono red, we are red. We are dead. But there's hopes and dreams. And Vraska. I feel like that's important. Okay, so we start with the Trium. Kutash. This Nisi is not exactly what we wanted to see, but oh well. Oh, that can get me a land, that's good. Let's go. Next turn I have Raska. Oh, not a Prazer. It's fine. So I can just plus Vrask as well. Because then I have Nisa or Storm. Okay. Ah, oh, they have their own Vrask uh, copycats. Copy, copy, cats. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to see, to be honest. In all honesties. Not much I can do there. there.
Oh, okay. They're also playing some Planeswalker shenanigans. Okay. Okay, so they do take the damage. Oh no, it's a treasure! No! Discover the discover. Oh, Nixalis. That's a good one to discover. Yay, Carinos! They have the best Planeswalker deck! Oh, there ya. Oh, there No pleasure doing business. Zero pleasure doing business. Okay. You know what? I like Soren. No. No. Okay, just because I go first. If I would not go first, I don't think I would keep this, but... Since I go first, there's a lot of drugs that make this good. Okay. So, what I can do is with this get a... Swamp. Mm, and I should have played the Lenore Wastes, but that's fine. Usually in these colors there's nothing I want to sacrifice really, I prefer to ramp. If it was mono red though, it would be a different story. Okay, now it's a bit worse. Let's see what they do. Maybe they don't do the Stomper. Even though, they probably will. Yeah. Okay. Zubat. Another one bites the dust. A little scrap gorger. Is that a shield road? That's fine. Shield road's edict. Oh, okay. Give me land. Thank you. That's okay. One, two, three. So I guess it's the cottage. I wonder if they attack. Yeah, they attack Ashok. That's okay. Draw Nicker is good. Kinda need a land. That hurts, but I do need the land. I think I just do Storm.
Excellently, they are all tutus. That's pretty good in my book. Lily, that's fine. I'll just suck a tutu. Okay. So I don't know if they do the Dread Knight or if they have something else. They have three mana. Okay, that has to happen. So Shieldred's shields down. Shields are down. Okay, Gleeside Drowning Eaker. Plus, exile this. I'll get children. So if I do one here, one here, one here, they lose eight life. Then they lose two more from children. I'm sure they have an answer, but still. Your go opponent. Yeah, that's way too slow. Way too slow. Did I just put one? Give me my stomper back. Actually, it doesn't work like that. They have to sacrifice it for me to get the Stomper. But oh well, it doesn't matter at this point. It does not matter. GG. I keep it. I keep it. I love Scrap Corger. Also, pretty good against... Mono red unless they lightning strike it strike it, but then they have to lightning strike it. Which they lose the turn for it, which I don't mind. They cannot deal with children, that's another part of the deal. I could have shielded right away, but I won't. I'll leave more blockers because they might have the five damage. Mm, they're looking at the blood, that's a good sign for me. If they want to get something else... Okay, a land. Refresh. Another one bites the dust. Exile their mountain. The rest of Skutach can start being interesting for us. So they go to 18, and every time they want to use these blood tokens. Ooh, okay. They must have Ogier. This is like an Auger deck. That's okay. I'll start gaining life, which is basically their worst nightmare. Yeah, they cannot just not recover from this. Okay, this is keepable, especially going first. Love it. An early storm festival is all I want. All I need. All I desire. Do not kill my scrap burger. Thank you very much.
Ezer. Ezer, Ezer. Very interesting. Hopefully they don't have counters, I must say. Okay. So, on another note, okay, give me good Storm the Festival. Good, good, good. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. What is that? Okay, another one bites the dust. I should have done forest because I think I want more forest for Nisa. Ouch. Okay. Well, let's hope they don't have a counter. I not spell Pierce. Terrible. We think I have the drowning eaker next. Okay, they are going aggressive. Another one, okay. That's fine. So obviously I want this one. It's more scary. They can do the spell pierce, but I can pay for it. Let's go. Already played lands, I'm just going to... Hopefully no spell on top. Aha, that's good. They do not possess the flyer yet. Ooh, that's a bit annoying. Those things fly now? Might be Nisa, but then they counter it. I think it's still Nisa. Look, don't have another one. You know what I mean? Good. Ugh, a bit annoying. Yeah, I'll try to kill them next turn, I guess. Four, five, six, seven. That's fine. Do they go for Nisa or for me? That's the question. I can proliferate Nisa. I guess it does not matter, does it? Mm. 
Mm. I can eat some food, which is good. So, what if I attack like this, like this, like this? It doesn't matter, but sure. They have to block something. Okay, so they go to four. Do they have any enchantment? No. I'm just going to plus. No, I'm dead. Because that's... yeah, that's more than enough in the air. Isn't it? Because I can gain life, but that's it. Very unfortunate. They all have flying, so I go to six. And then what can I do? I take three, five, six, seven, eight. I can proliferate, but that's not enough. No. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, I definitely could have played better some of the games, but I feel like the deck was really fun. And if you're looking for something that is very fun and that you can play all these Planeswalkers with, I think this deck is for you. Uh, let me know what cards would you change and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.